This game is rated T for teen, but the commentary? Well, that's a different story. Rated to M for mature. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't say you haven't been warned. Welcome back, everyone, to Sam and Max Save the World Remastered, Episode 6, Part 2. Before I continue with this, I just want to clear some things up. If I'm using the YouTube page to help me get my way through this, I do apologize. And, sorry, I'm just trying to get these comfortable. I also came back from just getting something to eat, so I'm officially ready to do this shit again. <laughs> and the third thing is the Samamax Remastered Beyond Time and Space. I am considering getting because I do know exactly how to do most of them without the use of YouTube. But anyway, let's get to it. I'm wasting time as it is. Look, Max, it's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. <laughs> They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed Reality 2.0. DESTROY! Remember your blip. Adopt a more positive attitude now. Is Prismatology teaching you anything? That one's my favorite. It sounds like he's always cursing. That is because he is. We're learning the most powerful skill of them all. The power to see within ourselves to become the best we can be. How does one go about seeing within oneself? Use of magical quanta required for bootstrap procedure. Come again? Four machines must learn to look within their leaden shells to find the answers within. One fabulous magical talisman makes it all possible. This week only. What exactly are they talking about? <laughs> you know what? I don't fucking care. I don't want to forget this. Ow! Could we Just borrow your magical tongue. talisman? Powerful. We're sorry, that power is currently in use. We're working hard to create an unbeatable AI. We apologize for any inconvenience. What are you computers doing here on the moon? Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. It will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff! Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Okay, Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick! Tack! Doom! You will fail! Owned! This is just mine! I will destroy you! You cannot defeat me! Actually, I just kinda did. Yeah, Roar. By your calculations, your chances of winning were 1 in 10 trillion. The sun was in my eyes! Thank you for playing Tic Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI to make it even more challenging. It was too short, and not hard enough. I want my money back! Please try again later. Maybe I'll consider talking to them after helping Abe Link. Speaking to- Hey Max, is that our bug? Hey Max, is that our bug? He still got it! Thank you! You're a prismatologist too? Yes, I am! I'm so happy I could be rainbows! Rainbows! Uh, we'll just keep our distance then. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. Let me see if I can talk to Abe Lincoln again. Hello, Mr. Rail Splitterhead. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. 
to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Civil pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, you've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. I said, I like so, she's... Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Why don't you try to go against Jay? Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? Well, all right. Damn! Oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself. And I happen to love foxes. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? Okay, I need help with this one. Oops. Um, this... I know how to do those parts, but it's just this one I don't fucking... Uh... Please, uh... Okay, so, third one. I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe, I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come over as soon as you can. Was that... Did she actually say yes? Hello, you just totally scored. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh. What if she wants to get serious? I can't do this! I'm so nervous, I've got butterflies! I have to ask, where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... and I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring! <laughs> Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. Speak with the cops again to try. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This I'll time lose. you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! Get a load of this move! Death to infidels! I am invincible! Come on. Fear me! Digits is mine! You are destroyed! Oh darn, you beat me fair and square. Good game. I totally beat you guys! Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. We have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad, LOL! Let me try, Sam. I know I can take him. As super sophisticated AI entity... Brother, speak so that the primitive Earthlings may understand. Of course. We smart, you dumb. No more need look within self. Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! <laughs> You've won free tickets to self-awareness! Cool! The effects are limited to those of Plumius' composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Oh. Huh. Might want to save that later. I wonder if I can use that coat hanger on that Luna Lander. <laughs> Actually, I want to test something that's <laughs> going to be fucking funny. Come on, Max. Come over here. Come over here, Max. Where the fuck is he? Did he seriously... I need him to get over here so I can... I can make people toss their rainbow cookies with this. <laughs> Um, would it work on you? Not happening. What about... No, come on. Ooh, colorful. 
does he have to be standing in this spot or that's quite a rocket engine I wonder if I can actually do it while well. I can have him on whoops there it is again okay this is getting ridiculous The display case. I wonder if that's something I missed in the last part. That's quite a rocket engine. Where are we headed now, Sam? Home. I'll actually check the office if it's still there. I don't think I had. I don't think Max even swallowed anything. I swear to god, I do not want to be fucking doing this and... Oh, excuse me. I do not want to be doing this again. Where the fuck is it? President Max thought the desk in the Oval Office was too showy. Not that. I always suspected Hubert would run off one day. His wanderlust was too great. I was meant to open the fucking door. Okay, there's nothing there. I swear to God, if I can't complete this, I'm not doing it. Maybe I can talk with Sybil and... To Hiya, Sybil. Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. <laughs> if you're Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there! We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. Have you come up with any brilliant ideas for improving Canada? Nothing solid yet. We've thought of a new slogan. Canada. It's surprisingly pleasant. But we need something bigger. Something to really put us on the map. See you later, Your Majesty. Okay, it seemed like Max was not... I can see through lead with this. And this tells hmm. me nothing happened. Wait, I wonder. Hmm, nothing happened. Nothing. I thought I could see. Jesus, this is the one episode I hate the most. Lefties is empty again. Except for the lingering stench, of course. <laughs> Dead end. Just think, Lefty never would have had to set up shop here if his car just had a reverse gear. That is something I'm not surprised about. Wait, what did it... What did this lead of lead vision talisman allow me to do? I can see through lead with this. Lead. So... I think I might know. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. It shows for a fact that Max has swallowed something. It shows Max has swallowed something, but... I'll try it once more. Cut that out. <laughs> the door is locked. Hey, the keys are locked inside. So many of us are like that. So maybe that's what I can use this. Oops. <laughs> Got it. 
Cool. <laughs> Sam? Oh my I god, think the that controls don't work buddy. how they're supposed to. Looks like cheap touristy crap is the same everywhere in the solar system. Can we get some cheap touristy crap, Sam? No. What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by oh. Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. Oh, duh. I should have really looked at it here first before trying to do that to Max. Fuck's sake. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm, yeah. A wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. Indestructible magical intelligence. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops. It's not held down very securely. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. Of course. Oh, ho! What's this? I knew you were up to something. Ruining my career with the Toy Mafia wasn't enough. Now you want to cost me this job, too? It must have fallen into my pocket while I was looking at your beautiful ceiling architecture. What Mafia? Don't try that again, or I'll have to get ugly. I guess what? a lot of people have done it already. Yes, but I always... Hey! Unless I've got... Max has got to eat the damn thing. Wait, that can work. These look oddly familiar. What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <coughs> I wonder if I can have Max come in. I... What's with the chart? I bet it shows how Justin Timberlake is descended from the moon people. This chart outlines Hugh Bliss's ingenious master plan to hypnotize everyone on Earth through connections with the US government, the internet, and the Toy Mafia. Well, I was close. Weren't you in charge of the Toy Mafia? You're right, I was. I wonder why I didn't know anything about this at the time. How to get this... Okay, I need to find out how to get this stupid little fucking thing fucking close. Did I make Max swallow... Did he make Max swallow it before? Or after? I fucking hate doing this. Unless I've got to have them. They really should work on securing this thing better. May have to just put it back because I can't really. Nope. I don't think Max is. Max is not close enough. Which One is moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Max is just not close enough. Whee! Though. Damn it! Come on, Max, get closer. The key to the lunar lander. I never get tired of looking at this baby. I can see through lead with this. 
I wonder what kind of lead. Come on, Max. One moment, please. God's sake, Max, come on! Okay, go ahead. Come on, you. Oops. Help me out with something. Sure. I can't exactly say why, but I feel a strange urge to take that display case from the visitor center. In that case, you'd better bone up on your smuggling techniques. What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? Take a vacation! Seems like we've been working for the past seven months straight. My feet are killing me. That may be, but we can't press charges unless we catch him in the act. <laughs> How are you supposed to do that when your feet are connected to your body? I miss the old days, when our cases were less thinking and more shooting stuff. Luckily, my short-term memory makes me impervious to nostalgia. Help me out with something. Sure. That stupid lunar lander only goes up and down. So? Random but innocuous comment. Irreverent reply that hints at mental instability. You crack me up, little buddy. How do I... Never mind. How do I even get... <laughs> There's gotta be a way Max gets close enough to do this. Does he... Oh, crap. Oh, crap, baskets. I don't know if I had... should have... Or unless Max is, uh... Bless him. Okay, so... Just so Max's head is in range. It really should work on securing this thing better. Until Max's head is in range, right? Come on. No, not Sam. Here, Max, hold this. I meant in your hands, but whatever. Well, now that is out of the way, let's get... One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Since now that I've gotten... Hmm. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? I begin to ask that question myself. Sorry, Max, I know I... S Promise not to do it, but hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Ah, oh, I was saving that. For what? It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. I'm not going to question that, Max. Right. Um, put it under the rocket engine. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking funny. <laughs> that never gets old. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh boy! It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Why the fuck didn't I do that before? I was save myself some time. Can I actually go through with... to the... Okay, so... That's done. Maybe... I need to save that for later. I don't know what that spoon is for, so... Forgive me if I'm mumbling, I'm just wondering what to do. Okay. Do I even speak with him? You or... You must be at least this tall to ride this ride. Fascist oppressors! This must go all the way down to the center of the moon. What's down there? Looks like nougat. This must go all the way. What's that? Look. 
Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, I meant to click this. Go on, you. That's certainly an important looking door. I wonder what's behind it. Something really secret or something really ugly, I'm guessing. Or a really ugly secret. One can only hope. The eye. Neat. Hey, I think that's my bowling ball. Oops. Probably gotta try and... Neat. Yes, that's definitely Lou, all right. God's sake. Shut the dosh. Scheiße. How exactly was that shit done? No, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Oh. I hate this episode. Need. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll just cut it here for now because I'm really getting a bit mad here and I don't want to fucking snap at all of you. So, yeah. Sorry that this is going to be cut. Probably short of the deadline, but it's more, less of that, you know. But. Yeah, I'll continue with the next part in a uh, right after this, or after I get myself cleaned up, uh, cleaned up, or walked my walked that little fu fucking furry fat ass of a dog. <laughs> uh, for information, she's not fat; she's just a bit big, even though she's not small. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense. Uh, <laughs> Like I mentioned in my last one, since of lack of sleep, I guess I'm just mumbling and coherent shit. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this episode, and uh, part. Until next time, Commander Nick, signing off.